We are back here on Girl Talk, and I'm excited that Brian is here from Stoneworks. Thank you so much. I always see you outside and running around and doing things, but um, I appreciate you taking time today to talk to us. Um, one of the things that's kind of exciting, and one of the reasons I, was, I really wanted to talk with you is more and more from a design point of view, I'm seeing or hearing people want a white marble, a white career look for their um, countertops. Okay, I'm a designer. You've raised me. And you've always taught me that it's something that looks fabulous, but there's more to it. Talk to me about white, white countertops and what I can expect. What are some of the products that you've got here? Well, I have a different perspective on a white marble than a lot of people do, okay. especially other fabricators. I actually love the material. I love to see it in your kitchen. See, you made my day, okay? <laughs> I enjoy working with it. Uh, you, it takes a certain kind of customer to, to appreciate white marble. It's, okay. uh, it may not be for everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, I love to cook and I love to bake, and I know it's great for that. It can be. You, you just have to understand what uh, the way it's going to wear over the years. Okay. You have to understand that, yes, you can get some scratching. Okay. Etching is going to be the biggest issue with white marble in the kitchen. Let me ask you a question, and just from a, this has been your expertise for a lot of years, is it kind of like a pine floor? When I put a gorgeous pine floor and an antique floor down, part of the beauty and the character of it is the weathering of it. I mean, is that what I call it? Is That's that the perspective you need to have when you're, uh, when you're using white marble. You have to consider it a living finish. You know, okay. it's, it's oh. going to kind of wear over the years. It can be corrected, the, the wear marks, the mm -hmm. etch marks, but you just need to understand from the get-go that if you're looking for a pristine, highly polished material mm -hmm. that's going to stay like that for years, mm -hmm. get over it. white marble may not be your, your product, okay. but uh, if you can appreciate the marble for its, uh, its timelessness, its, mm -hmm. its classic look, the, the very light, clean colors that you, you can't always find in, mm -hmm. uh, in granite, then you may be a, a better candidate for a marble kitchen. And I think you made a really good point. I know that many of my <coughs> clients now love the look of granite for bathrooms and things like that, but in the kitchen they're looking for something that's got a bit more, um, I don't want to say solid feel, is that just less, less wild? <laughs> We're seeing that a lot more lately. Uh, okay. A lot of it's driven, uh, all the magazines are showing light colors in the kitchen, less mm -hmm. wild. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and it really is, you, you don't have that with granite. They, they only get so light, and then you've got speckles. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few other materials that you might substitute if you're looking for practicality. Yeah, what did, I, I was looking and see what you got. Well, this, is a, this is a Caesar stone. It's a, let's see. That is Caesar stone? It is. I, this is, is this Snowden White? I believe yeah, this is Snowden, Snowden White. White. Yeah, Snowden White. Yeah, pretty. A lot of people that like that that light, uh, clean look go with Caesar stone. Okay. And this material has come a long way in the, the past couple of years. It it used to even appear to me to be like a fake granite. Right. But uh, <laughs> it's not anymore. It, it is its own product, and you get that light look, and you get the... Uh, the kind durability cotton, if, yeah. if you need that. Well, it's so. funny, Shannon and I were walking over there before we started, and there's, I mean, the, you need to come to the showroom if you haven't been to Stoneworks because you've got the red, you've got the blue, you can really see how it looks in place, and it's pretty amazing. Can you talk me through, are these some of the, like, Calcutta? That is a Calcutta gold. Yeah. W interesting what I found out about this marble. Actually, I looked it up this morning for this meeting, <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. the absorption rate. People are always telling you about staining, yes. and I'm telling you, it's more of an etching issue. Okay. The absorption rate on this material is almost exactly the same as new Venetian gold. Oh, it is? It's a granite that's used day in and day out, so that was pretty interesting. When I lay something like this down on my counter, do you guys seal it, or what kind of maintenance do we I do really need to do? We do seal it before it goes out. We offer several different sealers that mm -hmm. will help with the, with the staining part. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is no uh, sealer on the market that prevents etching. Okay. So that's really one of the reasons why a lot of people feel differently, but I like the honed finish, which is... That, is, right. It take, I guess the best way to say it, and I'm going to say it, then you can correct me, is you sort of take the polish and the sheen off the top. And what's uh, the reason I, I prefer the honed finish, it, mm -hmm. I mean, it feels nice and I satiny, like mm -hmm. but the etch marks, they're inevitable. You're going to get them. Okay. They're not going to stand out like a sore thumb on this material. Okay. 
It's going to be slightly more porous than the polished version, All right. but, but you can prevent that with the sealer. You can't prevent the etching, so why not make it uh, have the finish closer to the, the etch mark itself? And last time I was in here and you and I were talking too, we were talking about other options for this look, and that darn super white kept coming up. I love that, and that's a granite, right? Super white is actually a, a quartzite material, okay. which is, uh, it's, we've been seeing a lot more of it on the market in the mm -hmm. past two or three years now, but super white is different because it's a quartzite. Most quartzites we find don't etch, okay. super white can etch, okay. nowhere near as bad as marble. Okay. You know? But people are using super white uh, as a substitute for, for Carrara. Can, and can we hone that? It can be honed. Is that yes. pretty too? Very pretty. Are yeah. you seeing a lot of different um, finishes besides the... Um... We are. Uh, I mean, the honed and brushed is what mainly what's coming out now besides the polished material. Um, some people will call the, the brush leathered mm, or you caressed, think that's pretty things too. like that. But it's a stone that has a texture to it. And I know we've only got a that's few That's what I put in left. my kitchen, by the way. But, oh, did you? Yeah. Which one did you put in? I put in honed, or excuse me, brushed black absolute. Oh, I just, my God. I want to be able to... Cut yeah, and cut, treat cook it like, and uh, do all that good stuff. All right, what's this one? I know we've only got a few minutes left. This is white Carrara marble. Uh, oh, this is? Uh-huh. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. It's got a little bit more uh, striking uh, gray vein than some mm -hmm. of it has. But, uh, I tell you what, he is absolutely a plethora of knowledge. And if you ever get a chance, honest to God, you really are. And I love this is your favorite thing to do. We've been trying for years to get him to do this, so I love you for taking your time out today because you really know what you're talking about. And we appreciate all of you for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.